Lisa. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Time Shot. I know it's been a while since the last episode. I am over here in good old Tater Town. I've been over here working on things, and I haven't been recording it because sometimes I just like to play just for funsies, you know? Sometimes you just gotta take a break from recording and go ahead and keep playing anyway. So, oh, there's quite a few potatoes in here that need to be cooked up, so let's go ahead and take... Oh, my inventory is so full. It's so full of things. Let's go ahead and take some potatoes. That was not the most efficient way to do that. Go ahead and take some potatoes to go cook them up for some more positive taters. And as you guys can see, we'll start over here, I guess. I have been working on this town. I've been working on Tater Town, starting to renovate some of the buildings. And this is the kind of visual style that I sort of settled on with this sort of mix of woods and nether brick and andesite and stuff and the stone brick roofs. So that's what I've been working on for the most part over here, and I quite like how it looks. It's kind of a different different look than I've done before. I, I mean, I do like nether brick. You guys probably know that by now. Let's go ahead and cook those there. Which of these? Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't have my silk touch pick on me. Uh, let's go ahead and put some of this stuff away. Because I'm actually going to go back to spawn to show you guys something there. We'll keep that piece of cobble on us just for funsies. Everything is so disorganized in my inventory right now. It's all over the place. Because I've been building so much. There we go. That should be good. Okay. So, anyway, this is kind of the sort of build style that I settled on for these houses. I do want to do more with this, though. So let me go ahead and show you some of the buildings. So this one obviously still needs to be done. I've been kind of moving the buildings around and adjusting the pathways to try and give a little bit more space because it was very cramped before. So I'm trying to make it a little bit easier to walk around. I might push this wall out a little bit. But the villagers seem to be happy with it so far. We've still got our little sheep up there. I, I can't remember how we got up there even. Uh, so I still have to do these buildings. I'm going to build another one there. You guys can kind of see the beginnings of that. I renovated this one. I don't know if you guys remember this from before. And the one next to it. And I made this little sort of alleyway between the two. And around back here, I added a, another floor, which this is going to be some sort of cellar. So I want to put some stuff down there. I'm not really sure what. Maybe it could be, that could be potato storage, even if we wanted to. Um make that that, but renovated this, but kind of kept the original idea of this benches with the little tables. I want to do more with these. I haven't really done a lot with the interior just yet, but kind of got started on it anyway. And then this house, this was actually the first one that I did, and I think it turned out pretty good. There's several different doorways into it. <laughs> You'll notice that the villagers all look like Christmas elves, and that's because I'm using my Christmas cheer texture pack that I made. Uh, so they are very cheery and very sing-songy. There will be a link down in the description if you guys want to download that. There's a little Tate Jr. And, oh, okay, so there's a little Tate Jr. He's doing good. There's a little Tate- okay, this guy's new to you guys. Little Tate the third was born while I was working- oh, oh, look, he's in love. Little Tate the third. Are we gonna get a little Tate the fourth? Come on. Do you wanna? Do you wanna make a baby? That would be great. We'll just leave them be and hope that maybe we'll wind up with little Tate the fourth. But and little Tate the second is somewhere around here. Oh look, they're in love too. Everybody's in love. It's so wonderful. But what you guys might notice is we haven't seen little Tate. Just just good old little Tate, and that's because. Was it Lil Tate or was it Lil Tate the second? Lil Tate Jr., I mean. Okay, it was Lil Tate. So, the other day when I was working here and I was constructing things and then it turned night and I could hear zombies breaking into the doors, but I didn't know where they were, so I was running around trying to find it. Turned out it was over here. I don't know how it got in. I think there was a tree here and somehow they had climbed on the tree and gotten in. 
But then I opened this door and a zombie started attacking me, zombie villager. So I fought it back and I swiped it and I killed it. And then right as I swiped and killed it, I saw that it was Lil Tate. It was Lil Tate. And I killed him. I was so sad. I couldn't believe it. But I didn't know it was him. I thought it was just a bad zombie. And I didn't want it to take over the village. So Lil Tate is no more. <laughs> I'm really, really sad about that. But we do have Lil Tate Jr. and Lil Tate the Third, And we will continue to get new Lil Tates, hopefully. But rest in peace, Lil Tate. We do need to build a little gravestone to him. We should do that. I I'll do that sometime soon. I'll build him a little gravestone for little Tate. We'll have a cemetery somewhere. I think that would be fitting. Um, but anyway, so that's what's going on here at Tater Town. I've been working on these buildings, starting to change them up. Some of them right now, okay, there's just the one over there that's a little bit taller, and the rest are all kind of the same level. So I want to change that up. I don't want them to be all just single-story buildings. So I'm going to try and mix it up, have some varying heights, varying sizes, and maybe even designs a little bit more, because right now they are kind of all looking the same. And then I'm going to do a lot of work with, like, adjusting in between the builds and stuff like that to try and make it really look like a little town that's alive. Oh, the other thing that happened is I came in here, and there was a wolf in here, and all my sheep were dead. All of the sheep. I had like 20 of them or something in here and they were all gone. So I moved my dogs over here instead. I have so many dogs now. They all look like Max right now. But uh, yeah. So the sheep are no more. I'll have to go find some more sheep and figure out how that wolf got in there. I don't even know because it's got walls all the way around it. So I'm not really sure. Anyway, uh, that's what's going on at Tater Town. So now we're going to go ahead and head over back to spawn because I wanted to show you guys something that has been so delayed. Oh, look at this. Look at these colors. Isn't that pretty? Isn't that pretty? This is like a rainbow of festivity into the Christmassy nether. It's so white and cheerful, isn't it? Actually, it looks kind of creepy because something about... Oh, something you'll find about texture packs if you guys ever try to make one is that for some reason, from what I understand, there's not a way to change the red glow of the nether. You can change all the blocks and everything, but you cannot change the actual red glow of it. So, thus, it still has that kind of red hue in the sky. It's more apparent, I think, with the shaders on. Um, but it's still, I, th I think it's still kind of a fun fun feel for everything to be kind of white. It's actually a little bit easier to tell where things are. Ooh, what is that? Oh, it's a zombie pigman. It's a zombie piggyman. Pigman. Let's go say hi. Hi! Bye! <laughs> so now I made this uh, tunnel to Tater Town. So we've got our own little thing there. And then if you go out that way, here, I'll hop down here and show you guys what the nether looks like with this texture pack. These stairs are very confusing to me, but this is what it looks like. It's kind of creepy, but also kind of cool. Nether brick's pretty much the same and stuff, so... And then something about... Uh, 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 uh. There we go. It seems like that's how you're supposed to do this. It's by doing that. It's so bright. Look at it. Okay, let's hop through. Go to the spawn house. Been out at Tater Town working so much that I haven't really done a lot over here. Take a look at the map seas. There's my place, and you can kind of see that I've been working on my little garden. And there's the llama house too, the llama love shack, which I don't think I actually showed. Oh dear, there's something going on here. I'm not going to look at this in case it's a spoiler. Oh, but it looks like things are really Christmassy over here. Lots of festivities happening. So, okay, let's head over to our house. Avoid the spoilers. But it looks like some fun things are going to be happening around Christmas time. I was going to use one of these little marketplace shacks and maybe set up a little positivitator 
thing where people can go ahead and grab some if they're in need of some positivity in their life. Nay, nay, that's me. Okay, here's my house. Oh, happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving! I mean, I've been on since Thanksgiving, but I don't think I've recorded. Hey, Thanksgiving! This year I'm thankful for you. It was so much fun getting to hang out with you at PAX East this year, and I'm glad that despite your rough year, that you have stuck it out with us. That was very thoughtful. Thank you, Tortimer. That sense enchantment. Oh, and a mending book. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. Okay, so what has changed at the house? Uh, not a lot going on here. This is all pretty much the same. But if we go through here, I have worked on this stuff, which you guys kind of saw. And I got my llamas. Aren't they so cute? Aren't they so cute? I love my llamas. Wait, where's my third llama? Where's my cream llama? There's my cow. Oh, and I got some of these chorus fruit. And I went ahead and planted them in here because I thought that might look kind of cool. But this one is the only one that will grow. The other ones don't seem to want to grow. I think maybe I need to move them further away from the wall or something. I think maybe at this point they are not. They're too close to the wall. I don't know what happened to my cream llama. Ah, that makes me sad. I hope nobody stole them or something. Bring back my llama! But, okay, let's go... Oh, there's my good tools. So I put this stuff away whenever I went into the end end. But now I can get back to Bowie Jr. And fishy butt. Get my, get my items back. Oh, and more ender pearls. That's right. We'll go ahead and take a lead just in case we find our llama randomly. Randomly. Okay, so I'm going to need vines. I'm going to need leaves. Where are my other leaves? There they are. Lots of oak leaves and lots of birch leaves. Okay. So I have been working on some stuff up here with the garden, terraced garden thing. And I know it's been quite a while since I last showed you guys this and recorded this. And last you guys saw, I think there were trees up here. So what I did, I didn't really like the trees. I didn't feel like it really fit very well with what was going on. So I built these like terrace, or what do you call these? Oh no, I can't think of the word right now. There's a word for it. But I built these instead to kind of like have as an option for things to be hanging down from. Because I thought that would look much more ethereal, much prettier. And I already do like it quite a bit. I think it works a lot better. Oh, look at that, and the vines are going to be growing down. So I think that's going to work really well. So what I need to do is I need to go up here and add the leaves to these, this other side. So that's what we're going to do. Oh, that was good. So let's do this. Let's build this up. Okay, hop up here. Hop, up, 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 up. Get some of these guys going. And I've just kind of been spattering them around a little bit, because that's what you do with leaves. You spatter them. Kind of like this. And I've been doing a mix of the birch. Uh, I don't think I want it like that. Of the birch and the oak. So I'm just going to do the oak first, and then I'll go back with the birch. Kind of tie it in there. Let's go ahead and put one right there. Maybe one right there. We need some on the side of this thing, too. Maybe like that. Yep. We can go ahead and just let's get the birch in the mix. Let's go ahead and start doing that while we're here. It's probably easier if we do this as we go rather than having to come back and do it all. Uh, I want to do it. Okay. Let's, let's do this. Stack that up there. I want them to look like they're kind of wrapping around this. So I'm trying to keep them all somewhat connected to one another. That makes sense. That might have been a little bit much there, but we'll go with it. Let's do this. And we'll do some on the bottom there. And then over here. Yeah, like that. Now, did I put some along this edge? No, I did not. Okay, good. Good. And then let's do one more right here, actually. There we go. Yeah, this is looking good. 
So I like how this looks. I think it's going to be very pretty. Oh, look at the sky. Look at the desert with the Christmas. I made it look like snow because I thought that would be kind of a fun way to give it a really Christmassy feel. Okay, let's do that. Let's pop these guys down. Do a couple in a row because I haven't really been mixing it up as much. Okay, or I've been mixing it up too much is what I meant to say. Do this. Ugh, ugh. It's kind of tricky hopping around on this thing, trying not to fall off. Yeah, like that. And then we'll go in with the birch. Kind of spatter them around here and there. Put some along the outside too. I haven't really done as much out there. Put some right here. Maybe one. Oh, kind of climbing up the side there. I like that. Yeah. Maybe we need one right here too. Mm -hmm. It's it's always kind of weird getting back into the groove of recording while you're building because it's a lot of just talking to yourself as for me. It's talking to myself as I'm just kind of thinking through and problem solving. Visual problem solving. It's what it is. Oh, trying to use my shovel. Okay. I think we got the top of this pretty good. I want to do a little bit more right here. There we go. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. Now let's hop down here. Now I just got to do the bottoms. You see, I kind of tried to make it look like it was wrapping around. So that I heard a llama. Is that the llamas below or is that my cream llama? <laughs> Where's my cream llama? Creamy llama. I need you. Uh, that doesn't look so good. Let's do that. And then, yeah, that's good. Kind of like that. Pop these in here. I didn't do any along the middle. So I'll probably leave that at the moment and come back and do that. I'm doing mostly oak at the, at the moment. So I think that's going to look good. Uh-huh. And then let's switch to the birch. Pop in a few of the birch bits. Birch bits. In here. Yeah. That looks pretty good. Let's get rid of our... Whoops. Whoops. Got overzealous with my shovel there. That looks pretty good. Uh, needs like... Maybe like that. Of course, then it's not connected at all. Yeah, I think that works okay. And then maybe we need to connect that like there instead. Yeah, that way it looks like it's actually wrapping around. Hopefully these kind of match. It's a little bit hard to see at the moment, but the sun's coming up. So now we'll get kind of an idea what this actually looks like. Is that a that's a that's a zombie penguin down there? What are you doing here, sir? You are not welcome here. Okay, yeah, this looks good. With the sun coming up, we can kind of see it more clearly. Yeah, I think that looks really pretty. Let's put one there. Oop, let's make this birch. Wrap it around, just like that. Uh, I want to put it there. Yeah. Yeah, I think that works pretty well. Like that. Good. Now that the light's here, I can kind of see a lot. I can see a lot better. Yeah, I think this is going to work. This is what I kind of more envisioned. And originally I had thought of doing this sort of terrace thing. It's actually an idea that I did a long time ago in an old series. I had an old Anasia build series. It was one of my first series on my channel where I would go in creative mode and just kind of build stuff. And I built this Temple of Serenity, and in it I had this garden, and I built these kind of terrace things, kind of like this. And I really liked the idea, but I never really got to use it anywhere else, and so I'm excited to kind of bring that back in a whole new light. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? So I like this a lot better. I think it works way better than the trees. In regards to, like, should there be things here, or should it just be this open kind of green area? I, I don't know. I haven't really decided on that. But for now, I kind of like it just being simple and open. 
maybe I could come in, I don't know if that would be weird, but maybe I could incorporate some of those chorus fruit things if that didn't complicate it too much. Kind of like the simplicity that we've got going right, right now, though. Yeah, so that will be my little terrace garden. That's really pretty. One last thing I kind of want to show you guys, since I didn't really get to show it in an episode, is this Llama Love Shack. Isn't that so cute? Uh, Codewing and I built this for whenever we were all going to go venture out and get llamas. I was like, we need a house for the llamas, and I wanted to use that space for something. So, we built this thing, and I made a little bridge to it and everything. I think it turned out really cute. Um, originally, it was going to be a bunny hut, because that was one of the few things that we didn't have. And then they released the update and had llamas, so I was like, oh, it's going to be a llama hat. Llama hut. Llama love shack. There you go. Llama love shack. Baby love shack. So I think this turned out pretty cute, too. We've got our downstairs area with a little bit of storage, lots of carpet and hay for breeding, and random building materials. And if you go up these stairs, which I did these stairs a little bit differently than I've done before, where I had it where it goes in set like that. But I like the way it looks. It reminds me more of like a lofted stairway that you might see in real life. And you come up here and we've got our little receptionist llama up here. Just keeping track of everything. This nice little balcony out here at the front. Where we can see our poor sheared sheep. They were so beautiful. Dave. <laughs> and then out back you can kind of see the llamas, but you really got to go through here into the little fenced-in area. This fence was kind of a different design than I've done as well, and I think it turned out really cute. So we've got all these llamas back here. Looking so happy. Hi, guys. Aren't they cute? All right. Well, I think that's everything I wanted to show you guys. Like I said, I've been building a lot off camera. I hope that's okay with you guys. But I'll try to be a little bit more intentional about at least showing you guys updates as I'm working on things. Oh, look at this one right next to me. He's so cute. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I will see you guys next time. Toodaloodaloo!